the Lavender Town Syndrome, also known as Lavender Town Tone or Lavender Town Suicides, was a peak in suicides and illnesses of children between the ages of 7 and 12 shortly after the release of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan back in February 27, 1996. Rumors say that these suicides and illnesses only occur after the children play the game Reach Lavender Town, whose theme music had extremely high frequencies. That study showed that the only children and young teens can hear since their ears are more sensitive. Due to the Lavender Town, at least 200 children supposedly committed suicide, and many more developed illnesses and afflictions. The children who committed suicides usually did so by hanging or jumping from the heights. Those who did not act irrationally complained of severe headaches after listening to the Lavender Town's theme. Although Lavender Town now sounds differently depending on the game, this mass hysteria was caused by the first Pokemon game released. After the Lavender Town, uh, Lavender Town incident, the programmers had fixed Lavender Town's theme's music to be a lower frequency, and since then the children were no longer afflicted by it. One video appeared in 2010 using special software to analyze the audio of Lavender Town's music. When played, the software created images of the unknown near the end of the audio. This raises controversy since the unknown didn't appear or until the Generation 2 game Silver, Gold, and Crystal. The unknown translated to Leave Now. Although this may be a work of fiction, it does raise questions of the Lavender Town Syndrome. Kind of makes you think that could a simple music of high frequency can commit such an atrocity as 200 innocent children committing suicides? Well, there is only one way to find out, right? <laughs>